So now that you've probably seen the ridiculously complicated method for um, performing a multi-group moderation test in Amos um, in my other video, would you like to see the easy way? Uh, the other way requires a lot of constraining and unconstraining and, and path by path comparisons and it really takes like an hour to do a real model. And when you're done, all you end up with is this chi-square difference value. Um, it's a p-value, but it's from a chi-square difference test, and that's not really respected anyway. So um, I thought there's got to be a better way, and a way that doesn't involve so much human error. And so I found a way, and I've made a tool to make it even easier. And here we go. Um, I'm not going to show you in this video how to set up a multi-group model in Amos. You can watch my other videos for that. But once you do have a model, a multi-group model set up with a uh, couple groups, you can do this with even more than this, uh, three or four groups, whatever you want. Um, what you do is you go to your analysis properties, make sure in the output tab the critical ratios for differences is checked. Close that, run the model, hopefully it runs, go to your output, and what we've done now is we've um, enabled Amos to produce this pairwise comparisons matrix. And what this is, is a matrix of every possible uh, value, every possible parameter in your model compared against uh, both groups. And the value, the z-score, for the difference in that comparison. Kind of complicated. Um, and to navigate it's even worse. This is what, 74 by 74? Uh, so kind of hard to, to, to navigate. So what I've done is I've created a new tool um, in my stats tools package, which is available on the stat wiki. Um, and this new tool navigates it for you and makes it so all you have to do literally is press a button. So here's what we'll do. Go to estimates. You want to get these regression weights for males or whatever your group one is. So left click this area right click and copy and we're going to go over to the new stats tools package and in A2 paste the data for the first group go back and get the data for the second group that's the regression weights table left click right click copy paste make sure you do um, paste things in the right oops Arr, I'm going to click in an empty non-linked area here um, copy this over. Make sure you do paste things in the right cells. I've written some pretty lousy code here, but it works. Um, and if you paste these tables in the wrong cells, Excel will probably explode or something. Anyway, once you've done pasting it, uh, click the button. And we're done. Didn't have to constrain or reconstrain or create nested models or anything. And we have these z-scores with um, indications of significance based on these notes below. Uh, for all the paths in the model across male, let me stick male in here, and female, and we can see that there are paths in which they are significantly different. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven paths in which they're significantly different. So that's awesome. Now all you have to do is copy this, stick it in your Word document, and, and call it good. Um, also, when you're done with this, don't save the workbook because if you do, the button won't be there when you open the workbook up again. It'll just look like this. So go ahead and close this without saving. Don't save, Cor correct, and you're done. So that makes testing a nasty model like this, which actually isn't too bad, um, much easier and leaves no room for human error. Enjoy!